growing up in Nigeria, in Lagos, my childhood has always been a mixture of noise, crowd, joy, happiness, playfulness, but at the same time, a lot of a sober, questing, seeking, I don't know what I was seeking, but as a, as a kid, I knew I was I was always excited about this gray area of our minds, this unknown spaces. And um, I think very quickly I saw somebody did that acrobatics in my school at the age of five, six, I think. That was like the flash for me. <laughs> and I remember I started like learning it by myself without even having anybody to teach me. So it was actually acrobatics that brought me into dance. In terms of influence as an artist, one thing that is clear that I'm sure about is that I don't like to be stagnant. I'm always in motion. I'm always fired up when I hear stories of injustice, when I hear stories of imbalance, when I see an act of pure love, I'm always excited about that. I'm always interested in the in the great part and the forgotten things. So for me, remembering is a key component of all the things that I do. As an artist, I think my role is to always look for that possibility of the distorting the well-formed images. As an artist, as a seeker, I'm not somebody who will just settle. I need to be troubled, but I don't want to fight. I'm in a space where I want to invent, I want to innovate, and I want to speculate about the future. But I, I don't want to be wasting my energy fighting racism fighting lack of diversity and that was all i was seeing in france i'm like this is too tiny space for the what i want to achieve in my life especially as an artist that decision to go back to nigeria is what really made me realize that there is more that we can do with our creativity than just creating works and going on tour in, in prestigious theaters the world began with one there are no bad ones reincarnation is the new work that we made in 2021. One piece of wood will start to fire, light to fire. We wanted to look at all forms of ways of looking at number three. It's something that I'm always excited about because for us, reincarnation actually is a question of birth, death, and rebirth. Get it. There's something that is so timely to this piece because it's also treating the possibility of a never settling future. It is blurry. Like you're moving from Ghana to London. Yes, that's very set. But I'm talking about what happened in between. That journey itself is what I'm excited about because that's also where you're scared of crash. Every turbulence, you're very alive. That aliveness is what I feel about the future. And for me, I feel like that's really what really pops out the most at the end. Beyond the, the notion of climate change, I, I wouldn't want to look at it only from the point of view of the climate, like the weather, but the entire climate of our existence requires a total disruption. I wouldn't want to use the word change. When you now look at that in terms of the climate change and you ask yourself is, is it not even something good that at least for once human beings we are beginning to look at ourselves as a destructive force for this earth before now we always think we are the ones god has put us in charge of everything and we see what we've done with it over time i feel like we're not here to save the earth no we are here to save ourselves so for me all my work that i'm doing is also as a way to kind of like say you know what there's trouble because if we don't trouble the trouble the trouble will trouble you so you must learn first to sit with the trouble to stay with it for example they talk about electric cars but do they know that the same battery for that electric car is the same battery that our phones are using that are coming from Town that is destroying congo and australia and all those places so we should just accept that there is no freaking solution so sit with the trouble I tend to be very present in the moment oriented uh, artist. I love the idea of, of just being in the present because that is where we dance. 
I'm always interested in this possibility of being in that space of the present that is neither past nor future. Just like you peel off the layer of, of onions and that future itself is what is inside the onion. <laughs> and there's no way I can talk about that inside until I'm there. Yes, there is a direction to the future because we are peeling things, but every other work we are doing is our expression of rehearsing the future and we are hoping that there is a possibility of creating a different kind of worlding or world making.